Hi guys and welcome to yet another video setting out of the audition tutorial and in this tutorial I will talk to you about the crossword that occurs inside the uh, multi track session. It is very common if you are working on a very complicated multi track session which we are not working at the moment. It is just two tracks in here and I put them on the two clips we have in it and I put them both in the same track which I will tell you in a moment why I did that. But if you are working in complicated and very big uh, multi track session, and there are like dozens of clips and very, very complicated where they are mixed with each other, so there is a chance that they might overlap each other like this. One of these clips is overlapping the other one, and that clip is overlapping this one. If I change their color, okay, come to the property and assign this one different color for example let me assign bluish color to it okay blue color is okay okay this blue color now the yellow line these yellow lines that are represented here they represent the cross fit whenever these will uh, overlap each other the more they overlap each other they will cross fit now, this yellow line represents the cross out uh, fade out of this track this below track and its volume is gonna go down like this and this yellow line on here it represents the fade in of this track that increases its volume or amplitude like this uh, if you don't know about the fade in fade out there is a whole tutorial I have done about this they in a nutshell they just mean that the volume does not abruptly or suddenly increase starts or stops it slowly increases in amplitude or if it the song or the track is ending it slowly decreases gradually does not stop uh, you know uh, suddenly you know but uh, when a crossfade is between two tracks or two clips like this two audio clips like this then one uh, slowly stops and the other gradually increases in volume you know sometimes this uh, uh, might not happen and let me show you why it does not happen if you go to preferences and multi-track clips this option is sometimes by default uh, unchecked or in some version it is checked like in my version okay if it is unchecked then the crossfade does not create okay the crossfade is creating in here because we have already when brought these tracks it was active so the behavior is not going now you can see I will have brought two tracks in here and now the crossfade is not happening. Now what will happen, the track on top of the other will play and the track beneath one will not play. Let me play it and you can listen to it. Now I will switch to the background one and then that one will play and this one will not play. As you can judge with the music, the uh, track clip that is on top of the other one uh, plays and the other one does not play and it does not overlap or fades out or fade in both of them abruptly starts and both of them abruptly uh, you know uh, stops the other one. But there is another option also other than the fade ins if you go to multiple track clips again and click on this option and if this option is checked play or left portion of clips then that means these clips even if there are 10 of them overlapping each other here they will play each other like if they are placed like this on separate tracks separate track means that this track will play also this track will play but if you place them like this both of them are placed played in simultaneously you know they are played at once like this there is no difference between them this one is playing and this one is also playing which is not good i am going to go back into preferences and change the behavior i am gonna uncheck this one and i am gonna check this one the automatically crossfade or lapping clips now if i move this the crossfading starts again so you always want to make sure that the crossfading occurs unless your track or your clip or the composition you are creating you don't want crossfading in them then uncheck this option 
So, with that said, uh, I conclude this tutorial. I just wanted to, to show you that how multi tricks clips or crossfit or when they are overlapped with each other, or if you want to turn this behavior off for some special reason that you are, or that is a, is a special requirement in your clips or composition, then you can do that from the preferences and multi track clips option. So with that said, I take my leave for, for, from you guys for today. I'll see you hopefully in the next tutorial. Until then, goodbye.